look at this. It's almost like you go through the tunnel and then boom, there you are, the sanctuary. Cue the Jurassic Park theme song. That sun. Woo -wee. Good morning, everybody. Thumper fishing. That sun is up early and it is shining. Today is March 13th, 2024. All right. So, if you have seen this video over here, which, which I think was about two weeks ago, you saw that I headed out to Turkey Creek and I basically was reconning a couple launch potentials. They had a kayak launch point, which is it gonna do me any good with the trailer and the kayak? And then you had, what was it, Good Park and Pollock Park. Pollock Park was nice, but it had limited parking. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to Good Park and launch out of there. So, super pumped. I don't think I'm gonna head out into the Indian River right there. I think I'm gonna head up Turkey Creek up towards the sanctuary. Now, I'm not sure how long it takes to get all the way up there or how far. So we're just gonna kind of time it right. Um, I was gonna get a little early, up a little earlier this morning, but like I said, the temperatures have been dropping pretty cold. So I decided I wanted to give things a little bit of time to warm up. So it's about 8.20. We'll probably get there at about nine. So we'll get in the water probably about 9.30ish. So thinking we'll fish for about four hours. The goal today, trout, snook, and maybe even a tarpon. Hey, maybe even a redfish, I don't know. We'll see what we can see in there. The only thing I've seen at Turkey Creek was when I walked one of the trails into the sanctuary, and boy, there's a lot of wildlife. So this is sure to be a really fun trip. So stay tuned and I will see you guys at the boat ramp. All right, well, we're doing it. So I studied kind of the, the river map last night. I think I kind of know where we're gonna go. I'm thinking about possibly throwing out my paddle tail. It took us a little longer to get out today. I had a part that fell off and then uh, one of the eyelets on my rod popped off. So that's why I carry duct tape with me. Oh, that breeze feels so good. All right. Well, now that we're out here, I guess we'll work a paddle tail as we go up river. I use zip ties too, so I need to cut those real quick. Okay. And the eyelet popped out. guy get over here let's give it a little juice all right now let's just get where we want to go I guess I got going a little late this, this 
today, but Is that a train coming? Ah. You know, they're gonna build one of those stations in Coco, so I'm super excited for that. Man, they're right here. So, I kind of wanted to spend the day exploring this. You know, if we don't book anything, that's fine. We're seeing lots of fish. So, there is fish to be had in here. And I just, this is the kind of stuff that I absolutely enjoy. So, we're getting pretty close to the sanctuary right now too. So, that's really cool. Turtles, gators, tarpon, redfish, that's, uh, and trout. Those are all things that I've seen so far. So, epic, epic. Looks like we got a bridge up here. We're still getting some fish. Oh, right there in front of me. What the heck? There's some tarp tarpon rolling around in here. Little baby gator right there. Gosh, I don't think I could have done a better cast than that. through the tunnel and then boom there you are the sanctuary cue the jurassic park theme song it's kind of nice under here oh, 
Holy cow. That's Jack. Staying deep though. So he hit like a freight train. Jack ever. Look at that pretty guy. Very cool. Alright. That was a little doozy in here because of <laughs> I was under the bridge and that thing just hit like a freight train. Look at that beauty. Hit the NLBN. I switched colors. Thank you, buddy. have yet to catch an actual uh he almost got caught up and uh huh. he almost got caught up in my my uh my drive system I won't lie I thought that was a giant tarpon cuz I don't have a clicker on this thing, so it like just, it just yanked it. Let's check our bait. Let's put another shot of Dr. Juice on there. Just look at this area.
GoPro battery out and it's in there pretty good. It's already starting to swell up. And if you know GoPros, it's almost impossible to keep them from overheating, especially here in Florida. So, I don't know. Don't know. And that's the GoPro brand battery. But we still have some hitting right out here. I'm gonna try shrimp. You can't get much better than this. Look. It's shaded. It's beautiful, warm weather. You can watch right up here. We'll try and cast right over to him. Just to the left of where I was casting. Minus the sirens. Super duper. That's no good. <laughs> Alright, this rod's out for the night or the day. I'm gonna have to go home and straighten that out. Let's see if we can't tear it up with this little pow though. That's what we got that jack on. actually kind of nice just to drift on that back. I've got some people watching us over here. Trying to navigate through here is one thing. Log. There's some right there.
And look at this turtle just chilling. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Was that a red ear slider? You're not very scared of me, are you? You see people every day, huh? Right here at the kayak launch point. And there's some, a lot of juvenile tarpon in here blowing up left and right. Just saw Jack chase it. Got a snook and he just got off. Woo! I don't know how we went from mid 50s to mid 80s, but it's 86 degrees outside. Boy, I shed about as much as I could. Now I got the air conditioner going. But wow, what a beautiful day. We didn't have a bunch of crazy action, but we didn't get skunked. And I caught my new PB uh, Jack. So that's a win. Uh, you know, usually when I go to a new spot, I'm pretty conservative about, you know, how I approach things. You know, I, I'm not 100% fishing the whole time. I'm trying to learn the area. And then, you know, there's, there's sandbars. There's all kinds of things you can get into. So... You know, today I just really wanted to, to get a look of different areas that I've been looking at on the map. Uh, you know, where does it look like fish are holding? Take my fish finder and, you know, find holes, find where the shallow areas are, all that kind of stuff. So that's what we got done today. But we still hooked up with a good sized jack and a small uh, snook that we ended up losing right at the, the kayak. But we saw about half a dozen gators and a few manatees and just all kind of wildlife. It is beautiful in Turkey Creek Sanctuary. I definitely will be going back again. Uh, I'll probably bring a little bit different uh, tackle and gear to, uh, you know, there was tarpon everywhere rolling around, but uh, you know how tarpon can be. They can be really finicky and uh, they get what we used to call in the Pacific Northwest a lock job. They just, I was throwing everything at them and they just weren't having it. But if you ever have the opportunity and you're looking for more of a peaceful um, wilderness type setting, definitely check out Turkey Creek. But be aware, I have heard that in the summertime that that area gets pretty heavily packed with kayakers and floaters and, and you know float tubes and all that kind of stuff I mean for a Wednesday on a weekday we still ran into about half a dozen kayaks and uh, I think even a kayak tour but uh, overall like I said very good spot there is lots of fish honestly if I reapproach it next time I think I would slow down and fish more of the mangroves to the sanctuary that's where I got a few hits and I did land uh, the snook that I had. And then also all the docks, all the docks that people have at their homes on the way to the sanctuary, fishing those uh, sea walls, as you call them, in the docks. Uh, I did see a pretty decent sized snook and a few jacks chase it in, ch chase my lure, but they, they still didn't take it. So. Uh, that's something that I think that we can increase our hookup ratio next time we go if we just slow down and fish a lot of the pockets. But as I mentioned before, today I just wanted to kind of get some distance, check out some spots, see how it's going, see how the, the, the boat ramp and the launch is going. Uh, good uh, park and that little uh, boat ramp there is good, but be aware that once you back up I think more than about eight feet on that ramp there is a like a like a drop off on the left side so your your trailer kind of tilts and, and falls into that hole so 
if you're fishing a uh, you know a pretty heavy duty boat or something a little heavier I'd probably recommend um, what it was that one Pollock Park um, that yeah, I'll put the name right there Pollock Park but uh, if you have kayak like mine or a smaller little boat definitely good park is where you go and of course if you have a kayak that you can just pick up and carry definitely check out the kayak launch point because that is where you can literally start fishing right away in the, the Turkey Creek Sanctuary. Because keep in mind, there is no fishing on shore in Turkey Creek Sanctuary. But if you are on the water in a kayak or something like that, you can fish. So definitely check that out, get after it. And uh, again, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, this I don't know what we'll get into tomorrow, but uh, I'm sure we'll get the lines wet. and. Uh, get another video out. I will catch you in the next one, everybody. Tight lines. Peace.